At times I would ask, why the Hasidic world? How did I find my way there? And truth be told, in the home that I grew up in, it was clear I was going to have a doctorate. Women wrote doctorates. Women couldn't be rabbis. And in my seeking of truth, I went to pursue, truth be told, from the age of 12, I was going to write a doctorate in history. But my soul journey took me in a different direction, and I found myself within the Hasidic world. What did the Hasidic world give me that I couldn't find elsewhere? It gave me a world of concepts to work with and to understand how I walk in the world. Often I share two stories as to how I was born. In the first story, I'm in the back of the car. My father's driving. My mother's in the back seat. On the way to the hospital, passing Yankee Stadium, I pop out. I was going to be named Ruth after Babe Ruth. That's a great story. And that's actually a true story. The other story, though, is a story of Rabbi Nachman of Breslav, an early Hasidic master, who tells the story of the lost princess and how one day her father loses his temper and says, may the no good take you, and the next thing she knows, she's out of the palace. And a lifetime, 70 years pass until she makes her way back into the palace. That story gives an existential and religious context to how I walk in the world and how I understand those moments when I feel lost. What am I doing here? How did I make my way here? And how do I make my way home? And where is my home? The story of the lost princess gives me a narrative and an existential understanding and a religious pursuit to make my way home to God. In the teachings of the mystical master, the Ari, Rabbi Isaac Luria, he talks of God's shattering of the vessels and the catastrophe that created the world. The disciple, the master, the good name, the Baal Shem Tov, the Magid, talks of that being an element of revelation. But Rabbi Nachman tells me not only about God and God's world, but teaches me how to walk in the world and how to be in this world. And truth of truth is, you know, guests use the front door. Family members, they use the side door. They use the back door. And Rabbi Nachman reminds me, and the Hasidic world reminds me, I'm not a stranger in God's world. I'm actually a family member. And there is a side door waiting for me. And there is a back door waiting for me that I can walk through. And not only for me, I believe that each and every one of us is a family member in God's world, is a child, a love child, a king, a queen, a prince, a princess in the making. And there's a side door and a back door waiting for you to find your way into God's world through those moments that you may feel lost and wandering and ask yourself, where am I going? Where am I headed? There's a home waiting for you and God's world is our home that we share.